That was a sparrow. Oh, they're coming out fast. Ah! No! No! Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Oh, Frederick. Oh, Frederick. Yeah, what's up, man? Oh, today, today, yep. Y'all have been asking for one for a long time. Jordan and I, we're headed out to the farm to go shoot some pests, whatever we can get. Today, you know the deal, 410 pump. I know. Uh, the difference this time today, a lot of other times I like had it as a backup. Today, it's gonna be the main you know what. We're gonna run the old 410 the entire day. It's a decent day out, it's a little chilly. We're, we're sitting at 50 degrees with about a 10 mile an hour wind. Now, got a couple things for y'all that I wanna discuss real quick before we get into the hunt. Good boy, Set. I have something to show y'all. One of y'all sent this. Check this out, Set. Look at Fred's custom collar. Look at this, it's got some duck decoys, it's got some mallards, and then it says Fred on it right there. And then what do you got on the other side, buddy? Got a three and a half inch shell, a snow goose, and a Canada goose. All custom leather. Look at that bad boy. You're looking sharp, dude. Looking pretty handsome. But you're gonna have to thank Kaylee, not me. Kaylee, you're an absolute sweetheart. My wife and I, we wanna tell you thank you so much. Kaylee reached out to me on Instagram and she was like, hey, do me a favor. Uh, go ahead and measure Fred's neck for me because I want to make him a custom leather collar. She does horse leather. Yes, whatever that's called. I'm not good at that name, but whatever that is, is that, that's what she does and she's real good at it. Old Frederick got him a custom collar. Oh yeah. Looking good though. Thank you, Kaylee. If you guys want to send anything in, my PO box number is down in the description below. Send anything you want, just as long as it's legal, acceptable, friendly, healthy. You know, which leads me to the next thing. Uh, everything that's going on right now, I can't even say the word because I'll get, yeah. Uh, but that's all going on right now in the world. And they just canceled school for the rest of the year for my daughter. There's two months left of school. Uh, my first question was when my wife just told me, I go, so what is she gonna do for two months of learning that she should have had, you know? We got a homeschooler. That's my main worry, is that my, my daughter isn't gonna be learning, you know? And, and it's not the state's fault. It's, it's obviously nobody's fault, but uh, there's a lot of changes happening, especially when you're parents with kids. Um, I'm, I'm here right with y'all, guys. Um, again, I can't put what we're talking about in the title or anything because YouTube, they warned us, they sent us emails. The one video that I actually put up that was had the word in the title, nah, no good. You know the deal. So, I just wanna let you guys know, I'm here with y'all. I'm here, we're going through it too. Uh, luckily, we're at the new house now, so it's gonna be able to entertain us a little more. It's gonna allow me to make videos a lot easier for you guys, uh, rather than where we were. Uh, but guys, just, we're all in we're all in this together we all have to uh work together not against each other put that in your heads remember that that's that's important uh, but enough mushy gushy there's a lot going on in this world right now uh just everybody stay safe stay smart uh but let's get, let's get to the farm well we're pulling up Ooh, right there there was a good flock right there <laughs> what i was just getting ready to say pulling up to the farm and i can already see two pigeons and I've seen two flocks of starlings. Now, I don't know what Jordan's using. He's meeting me here. I don't know what type of gun he's bringing along. He might be sporting a 12 gauge. Hopefully, he's sporting a 12 gauge today just so he can be my backup when I miss with this 410. But I guess that's surprise number one. Thing number two I wanna tell y'all before we get to hunting here at the farm is I have been talking to so many lovely people out there and it's been y'all on the phone booking your hunts. Seriously, I have booked, uh, I've booked a lot of y'all. Straight up subscribers that have been here. I think the, the longest one that y'all have uh, told me, there's one of y'all that booked a hunt for this coming duck and goose season, that's what it's for y'all. 
that have been here since 200 subscribers. Think about the stories we're going to tell each other, right? So, if you guys want to get on the bookings, if you guys want to book a hunt, uh, we're doing them here in Central Kansas. And there is some spots available. Uh, right now I have a lot of spots available in January. Lots of geese, big wads of geese. Y'all know the drill, y'all see the videos. And then I have reserved two dates for two big groups. Two prime dates. Uh, I'm looking for groups over seven or eight. It can be 10, 14, big groups. So we're gonna get to hunting here. If you guys are interested in booking a hunt, uh, the easiest thing, the best way to contact me is Instagram. DM me on Instagram. Uh, it's really easy to respond. Uh, I can respond to a lot of you uh, in a very short amount of time. If you don't have Instagram, you can email me. My email is down in the description. Enough jabbering. I'm ready to shoot this 410. Boy, howdy. And let me tell you, the farm is muddy today. Good thing I wore my waterproof shoes. That is for sure. Holy smokes, dude. What do you have? This here is my Marlin 17 with a scope cam. <laughs> with a scope cam. On the way here, I was like, I hope Jordan's going to use his 12 gauge so he can back me up or something. I mean, I can. No, that. he has a 17 <laughs> with a freaking scope cam. But you know what'll be fun is I get to shoot the close ones, you get to shoot the real far ones that's, that aren't flying. That's the theory anyway. <laughs> See if I can hit something. <laughs> This is my rig today, the old 410 pump, the old Mossberg. You've been shooting your Mossberg? Not like I should be. Uh, mine, needs, mine needs to use more so it'll I, work better. I need to break mine in hard. Literally. We haven't used them enough. They need broke in. All right, we ready? You ready? Well, I mean, might as well be. All right, where we're starting, yep, the old 410 pump, 17. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of Starlings traffic right here beside this building. We're going to send it. That's about all. That's all I gotta say. Oh, here we go. Eh, those aren't starlings. Yep. Yeah. Cowboying. I always say it whenever we come out here. <laughs> cowboying. I feel like I'm cowboying every time I come out. There's two Eurasians though. Yep. They love this corner. I'll take two your Eur I'll take a Eurasian down. That'd I be a good catch clean cook oh, is a yeah. good old collar dove. That'd be delicious too. Yeah. I can't shoot them though. Yeah. Mm. You're gonna definitely gonna push them that way. I'm gonna see if anything's in here real quick. Yep, them are big body dove right there. Them would be good. Pigeon size. Yeah. Let's see if anything's all on up in here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing at home. Yep, chocolate factory R us right here. Where are you at? I know one gun him busting out of here. Come on now. Nothing. We better go check out the chocolate pile though. I bet there's something good in it. Though. Ooh, look at it. Oh, it's, it's, ooh, it's reduced. Yeah. So chocolate a pile. A lot of you, I guess we do have a lot more subscribers that's been here since the last time we did a farm video. Like we better show y'all. We better show. So this is a dairy farm. Uh, very short I'll, I'll, because a lot of you know what I'm talking about. This is a dairy farm. They got to feed cows. They use chocolate uh, leftovers actually from the Russell Stover factory that is trucked directly to the farm. They use as a sugar additive for the cows. And this is all chocolate. No, that is not poop. That is chocolate. All chocolate. That looks like caramel and or peanut butter. Lots of chocolate. Lots. I just, there's a bunch of birds going over. See? Here's the girls. Old dairy cows. Just got fed probably, I don't know, 45 minutes ago. Uh, you're okay, girl. And that's a lot lower right now. Uh, they just got done pumping it all out. Oh, really? They moved like, what was it, 1.3 million gallons in like... Holy a week. smokes. Yeah. Wow. Running an 8-inch line out. Wow. A lot of, lot of stuff. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Here we go. Some more girls. Hey man, they're banded. That right there is a banded cow. Uh-huh. Yep. What are you doing? Just Where at? Oh, on top of the deal? Shoot him. Get him. I see him. He's... Oh, they flew off. Why you gotta be like that? Oh. Alright, now tell, 
Tell me See? what. He just went in. Oh, okay. he did. So, there is a broken window in the top of this round top here. There have been typically three pigeons and a bunch of sparrows. This is the only way in and out. They're not supposed to be in here. It's all supposed to be closed up and tight. Yep, that little window up there. You see it? It's broken out. But the birds go in there. The reason they don't want birds in there is because there's equipment, there's seed, there's stuff like that. And you don't want stuff being crapped on. And the birds are going in there and doing that. So the theory is I'm going to go in there. I got a slingshot. I'm going to kick them out. And Bob is going to attempt to shoot one. <laughs> so why, do you, why did you put that pressure on? Attempt. It, well, you did say, you know, however good you think I am. So... <laughs> Here he goes. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna wait. Whatever comes out, I'm shooting. As long as it's a sparrow, starling, or pigeon. There we go, y'all. Oh, 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 that was a sparrow. Oh, they're coming out fast. Ah, no, no. Oh, I'm missing. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta reload, dude. <laughs> they're coming out way too fast. Hold on, dude. They're coming out way too fast. <laughs> that's got to be the funniest thing. That's, he just watched me do that. That's probably the funniest thing he's ever seen. I didn't even see him because as soon as I they're like, nope, see ya. Starlings and sparrows just roo, 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 roo. I don't think I had killed one, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> they were kind of weaving and going, and the power lines were in the way. And exactly, you got to wait for power lines. You got to wait for them to get away from the buildings, and oh, you yeah. Got a four ten. Yeah, that's oh, a four ten. Wow. All right. Oh yeah. High tech. High tech will pump. High power. High power. That's right. That's cool. Wait, is your own special version, or you just? Uh, no, that's there? a Mossberg. Mossberg 500. He's got the same one. Uh, he's got the slingshot. I got the 410. All right, here we go again. I'm going to make a fool out of myself one more time here. All right, here we go. Boy, howdy. They come out in a hurry. Uh huh. This is cool. He, he, got, he got a good idea going on here. He probably flushed them all out. Yep. Oh, 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 see that power line. Yep. I can't do that. Be over here. Huh? Then you should... Yeah. Let's go right here. That way. Yeah, yeah right here might be better. Uh oh, here, here, here. here. Man, that's hard. It's like the hardest game of... See that power line? That was right in the way. There's no way. That last bird went right with the power line. There is no way that I can shoot. That's crazy. They come out and just follow that... Well, this is probably... This is the most fun I've had in a long time. <laughs> and I haven't shot anything. <laughs> that's all. That's it? That so. was that was tough. So so here's the deal. Well, that power line right there, that's the problem. They get out of that window and they skim that power line. They literally follow it right when they come out of that window. That was a lot of the times why I couldn't even pull a trigger. They were right on the power line. Oh, so it's an explanation instead of an excuse now, is it? I will say <laughs> the farmer enjoyed watching me. Oh yeah, I'm sure he got a kick out of it. <laughs> The old farm. Man, what's it been? When did we start coming out here and filming? A year ago? Not quite. It's probably closer to 10 months. That's it? Well, because we did it after the pigeon hunts. Oh, okay. Well, y'all know this is the shed. We actually did a full farm hunt on top of the shed last year. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. <laughs> uh, but the shed right now, it's got, it's got two babies in a nest and a mama taking care of them. And uh, Jordan said, look there's a nest there were two babies i've been letting her just take care of her babies i'm gonna end up he's gonna end up taking the babies home there oh there go. she goes there she goes yeah she didn't even let us come that close no but we can go look at the babies yeah
Nothing? Nope. Nothing's home. Just except for old mama pigeon. That's it. Oh, it's way up there. Oh, they get, oh, I see him. I see him. Yep, look, look at old Climber McGavin. He's going to get them babies. Old mama, these is mama's babies. Uh-huh. Oh, God. Yeah, I was like, oh, God, I'm going to have to catch it. Let me. Yep. Oh, they're pretty big babies. They're working on it. Oh, yeah. They're not quite ready to take yet. Yep. That's why we're not shooting mama. Mama's got babies to take care of. Them babies wouldn't survive if we did. You know what I mean? That's the way to do it. We care a little bit. <laughs> you said we care a little bit. <laughs> well, you know. Nothing. Nothing! Yep, there's really nothing in there. Well, old Festive is looking good though. Man, they kept going away from me. So, Jordan and I have been sitting here, and right here has just been a primary fly line. So, we're gonna kick it and just hang out. I get my shotgun. How are you? They just keep flying right over us. So we're just gonna kick it right here a minute, see if I can shoot some. Get him. Oh, dude, the, wow. The difference between the 12 gauge and the 410. Oh yeah, it's it definitely the guns. Oh, <laughs> I wanna shoot one. <laughs> here you go, sir. <laughs> no, I, I said I was gonna use the 410 and the 410 only. You wanna go get him or shall I go get him? You can, that's your bird dog. Yeah. <laughs> you can do the walking, go on now, go, go on now. <laughs> he yelled at me, he was like, incoming! I looked over the shed, I'm holding my 410. I'm like, uh, that's, a, that's a good 35, 45 yarder there, there, Jordan. Bam, the 410. That's the difference right there. The, the 410 won't do that compared to a 12 gauge. There's absolutely no way. They coming? Oh. Ow! Oh, they went way your way. They went way your way. I was, yeah, they, I was they hoping they'd come way. this way a little bit. Well, we are at the old house now and uh, just got done feeding the pigeons. Forgot to let Fred out. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. And I want to show you guys something. Uh, since we've been at the new house, we've put babies on the ground here in the pigeon loft and we have right now three babies on the ground. The farm hunt was cool and all. Come on Fred, let's go. I mean I had fun and I'm sure you guys enjoyed the farm as well, but I want to share this with y'all. First off, we're getting ready to move the pigeons. The babies are finally getting to the right size where we can move them safely into the new loft and we're getting ready to build the new loft at the new house. Now, lots of changes coming to the pigeon loft at the new house. Uh, a couple things. For one, we're getting some new birds. Uh, I'm getting homers. If you guys know what those are, if you know, you know. Um, but these are all going to the house as well. I don't know if I'm gonna keep, I'll probably keep this loft and then build another one at the new house. But let's check out the pigeons before we check out the baby. Just fed them here. So they're all chilling. Look at them, they're all looking really good. Good looking birds. Good looking birds. I can't wait to get the new birds. Oh, the homers are gonna be so cool. What are you doing, man? But let's close this up for a minute. Let's go over here and check out these babies. So in this one, like you guys know, these are the purebred white ones. So these little babies. So here is the purebred white babies. Uh, when they grow up, they're extremely, extremely pretty and pure white. As babies, they're not so pretty. But this little guy right here, let me show you him. He has to be, I mean, pretty much, oh, there's another two eggs in there too. Wow, mama is getting busy over here. Look at him. He's got to be one of the prettiest pigeons that I have ever produced. So cool. He's got some really cool colors on him. Awesome grays, blues, and blacks. His colors literally remind me of a blue snow goose. 
We better call him Blue. Yep. But here he is. Check him out. Isn't he beautiful? Can't wait to get him to the new house. It's going to be awesome. The new loft is going to be huge. Uh, we're going to be able to put more birds in it and some new uh, expensive not too rare but birds that will be able to fly and they'll come back in the loft it's gonna be awesome I need you guys this help building the new loft and uh, we're gonna get these guys moved I'm gonna start doing that now be expecting the video new loft new pigeon loft so you guys have been asking a lot about the pigeons they're doing good we got some good looking little babies on the ground but like I said, I really hope that you guys enjoyed the farm hunt, but it's always good getting out there You know what I mean? The pigeon loft the new one is gonna be awesome I can't wait to build it and I, and I can't wait to have you guys there with me Giving me your tips your two cents on what we need to do But be sure to subscribe hit that little notification bell down there because it will notify you when your boy uploads Big shout out to my notification squad. I appreciate y'all but if you want to help support the channel, you know the deal. Go down in the description below. Go check out the DucksWaterfowl.com website. It's got just about everything over there for us duck hunters. Whenever you guys pick something up, it does. It goes directly to your boy and helping me bring you guys more of these videos. Uh, YouTube hasn't been liking me lately. Let's just put it that way. But until next time. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that.